Hello everyone, and you are all doing your uh, Xfinity RC wrong by doing this. So, what you're mostly doing, what you guys, let me show you what you guys probably do. Uh, you guys probably do it like this. Um, you guys probably write, you know, do export some, you know, export stuff uh, here, right? You know, and and launch, you know, your startup programs here, right? And then you probably do and, and and do some other stuff and like do some sorry for not being a good typer and then after you're doing after you, you've done everything you write while true and do if I can write and you just write DWM and done you probably tab it in Emacs can't tab it in because it thinks it's a normal text file. It, it's in ELIS mode. It's not in like uh, the other way. So this is how uh, you you guys probably write your extended RC. Uh, but the problem is, I mean, you know, if you write this kind of extended RC, so yeah, I need my extended RC to be like that because let's say I, uh, you know, change my wallpaper. When I change my wallpaper. Uh, DWM actually gets recompiled. Now let's change it. Now if I can, oh my god, the PAM didn't work properly. Okay, so if I, after it's done, everything changes. Look at this, the colors of DWM have changed. Uh, and you, uh, you know, the terminal color scheme, everything has changed. Uh, except Emacs. Now I could change, uh, you know, make, uh, you know, Emacs currently uses, uh, like if you're using Emacs, uh, it works, uh, yeah, it works really well with, uh, so, you know, Eval Space Max Moron. This is the thing that I use, and this is uh, pretty useful because I don't kill Emacs because uh, I might be doing some work there and I don't want to uh, kill it uh, because I want to have a better wallpaper, right? Uh, so if I launch Emacs Daemon again, you can see Emacs changes its theme and and we are good. You know, everything's fine. You know, now uh, this can, but when you achieve this, like if you have uh, like many things like you know there's a bug in DWM which, which you like if you reload it everything goes back to like workspace one you know everybody knows this and if you are like you know as I loaded D if I have like killed DWM I do I can even do and I still don't go back to uh, you know the TTY so uh, so what if I wanted to launch Sway or Qtile then I could not do that uh, which is pretty horrible so for that, so for solving that, I have a script called exitdwip right here. I'm not going to launch that script now because it would go back to TTY and the recording would be cancelled. If I do that, it uh, properly works. Now, how does it work? Let's see. Let's control X F. First, we need to take a look at the extended RC. So everything you have done, it's not that necessary. Uh, the most necessary thing is this line. So I first echo the, this no into WM exit. Now we can do cat uh, cat uh, WM exit. It's currently set to no. Now uh, while true, I store this uh, WM uh, this uh, the value that's in the file in this WM exit variable. And if if the string there is yes. Then I exit. That means if it's yes, uh, it stops reloading DWM again, and and it exits. And then if else, then it's gonna really relaunch DWM and and Maplet, and it's gonna cycle forever. So if I wanted to, and then let's see, um, uh, what is that QOL? Okay, 
SQL scripts, you know, if I go back to exit, D, uh, you know, check exit DWM, it says yes and kills DWM, which means when it's uh, when this script is launched, it kills DWM, but before that, it just uh, says yes in the file so that DWM doesn't get reloaded again and again and again. So, in this way, uh, DWM can basically, I can close DWM anytime I want because uh, if I do normally, if I had not done that, QL DWM wouldn't work and, uh, you know, there would be problems, I guess. So, this is why you guys have been writing your start X wrong forever. And let's take out my AC adapter. So, the. Uh, you, have be, you guys have been doing it wrong forever and this is why you guys should do it properly and you know this is why you guys should write your statics in a different way so we're done thank you very much and have a great day